everyone. Hello, hello, hello. This book has been coming up in conversation a lot for me lately. And I thought I would finally record it for you all. So this is especially for a little boy whose name starts with M. I hope that you like this story. Maybe you've already read it. It's called Hair Love by Matthew Cherry, and it's illustrated by Vashti Harrison. And I was lucky enough to meet her. She's amazing. Uh, you'll find lots of, of, of um, books illustrated by her as well. And I'm not too familiar with Matthew Cherry, but he wrote a beautiful book, Hair Love. The cat doesn't look very happy. For daughters who never grow too old to need a father's helping hand and the fathers who love to be needed. That was from Matthew. And Vashti says, for my dad and his excellent braiding skills. And that's very nice. And it looks like it is published by Penguin Reader's House. Or it's, um, it's a part of that big publishing company. So I read it with permission from them. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it is beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. So look at the different ways she can wear her hair. This is one way. This is a totally different way. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. Wow, another beautiful way to wear her hair. So I wonder if Vashti Harrison's dad used to do this for her. And I wonder if Matthew Cherry did this for his daughters. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. There's nothing my hair can't do. Huh, so I am very different from Zuri, where when her hair gets long, it gets short. When my hair, I'm sorry, when her hair, hair gets wet, it shortens up, like right here, let me get my pointer, how it shortened up right here. But when my hair gets wet, it looks longer. There is nothing my hair can't do. Today I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. I wonder what's happening for Zuri today. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He does look worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. How wonderful that she can tell that he needs a break. That means she's really watching him. She's really in tune with him. And there she is with that gorgeous hair. And look at her daddy's hair. Very different from my dad's hair. All beautiful hair. Because today is special, I want a per perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. <laughs> Paws off, Rocky. Looks like she has an iPad. Daddy hears the crash. Zuri, what on earth? He asked. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big no way. Oh, look what her daddy did. But she's not happy with it. The second was no better. No, Daddy. Oh, I think that looks very nice, but it's not what she has in mind. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Looks pretty good here. Boing, out, Daddy yelled. One of the rubber bands let loose. Wow, I can't imagine being able to do all those different things with my hair. That is so awesome. Wait a minute, Dad said. Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! <laughs> and look what happened to your hair. Oh, so gorgeous. So a pick has little 
or long teeth in it. It looks like a comb, but more like a fork. Um, has a lot of space in between, so he used to pick on her. I'll be right back, he promised. Now, how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on, we can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said, we'll figure this out. Oh, and she's sad, look at that. She really wants it to be special. And he is in tune with her. He's given her the love that she needs right now. Then I had a great idea. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. So there's that pick. Oh, there's another pick. That must be more of a comb, but a lot of space in between. And it looks like she has her video ready and he's got special product for, your, for her hair. What a cool dad. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it. So he combed it first. There's the video to show him. Then he parted it. Look at those nice fine lines. Oiled it. He put that special product, that oil on, he, and twisted it. So look, he twisted it into, oh, wow, these beautiful coils. He nailed it means he got it right. Funky puff buns, pretty pretty and so much fun. Rocky approved too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. She looks great to me. And the door goes click. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy, you've got to be the prettiest supergirl I have ever seen, she said. And look at it, you can see it here, the nice parts, the slicked back hair, the nice coils, the nice twirls. Her dad did such a good job. Now this woman is her mom, and this is the part that becomes confusing to me, because I'm not sure where she's coming from. Maybe you all can tell. This sign says, welcome home, mom. And then her mom tells her, and your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled, very nice. Thank you, we learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. And he's saying that the mommy is the best at doing hair. He tried so hard, I'm so proud of her dad. My hair is mommy, daddy, and me. It's hair love. Oh, you know what that means? When she says my hair is mommy, daddy, and me? It means her hair, it's her because, of course, it grows out of her head. But she got it from her mama and her daddy. And that together, they made this beautiful head of hair that grows out of her head. The end. Oh, I love that story. I haven't loved my hair every day, for sure. But I do love it. It makes me me, and I hope that you love your hair, too. I hope you'll read this again. I hope you'll talk about it with your adult. Until next time, thank you so much.